Rio de Janeiro is one of the most iconic cities on the planet, famous for its breathtaking scenery, laid-back beach culture, and beat of the samba. Rio will play host to the 31st Olympiad. Late last year, Sky Next athletes Glasgow boxing gold medalist David Nika and rowing world champion Emma Twigg were lucky enough to visit this incredible city and soak it all in. For these Olympic hopefuls, their next goal is to wear the silver fern at Rio 2016. Nobody Arch uh, boxing gym with uh, the master Kloju Kuelu and um, looks like I'm going to be put through my paces today. Um, pretty intimidating, I'm seeing a lot of rough dudes here but uh, it's, it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be fun <laughs> in its own way. <laughs> That's pretty cool being here. Eh? Uh, I think that there's something about boxing. Um, once you once you get in amongst it, everyone speaks the same language. Um, I don't, the guy next to me speaks maybe three or four words of English, but um, when it, when it's all in grunts and grunts and um and yells, it makes it makes sense. It's <laughs> that's the craziest sport. But um, I don't know any of these guys personally, but um, I, I feel like I feel like I know them. We're connected in, in a certain way. Um, that you can only do in boxing and uh, in, in combat sports. It's something, something really special. I, I think the the one on one stuff was probably most valuable for me. I think I've actually got quite a lot out of it. And um, at home, I don't get a, uh, so much so much one on one time with different boxers. And um, being able to work with different guys with uh, different different um, strategies of learning, different um, kind of motor skills, uh, had me had me move my head like a <laughs> like something really quick. Seeing a lot of the amateur boxers uh, at the World Champs and the ones that are going to be at the, Olymp the Olympics, uh, the Brazilians in particular, I can see a lot of similarities. It's just to do with their, their style of boxing. It's, different, it's, a, it's a lot different to, to what we do at Ringside Gym. But, um, oh, wicked experience. I'm having a, I'm having a great time. All right, so I'm here with uh, Master Cloud Quelu, and um, uh, the, he's the owner of this gym. He's been the guy barking at me for the last hour. Um, I'm going to ask a few questions. Uh, how long has this gym been running for? Uh, this uh, gym has been open for 25 years, and the purpose of the gym, the function of the gym, is to, to be a social project for the kids from this poor community. How is um, uh, running this gym in, 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 this, in this favela? Has it, has it, been, has it been a success? I was born in this community, so this is a project I'm very proud of, and I took a lot of kids out of drug dealing and stealing, so something I'm very proud of. So I see a lot of uh, photos around the gym. Are these all champions? Are these all your boxers? This is academy for MMA and boxing. So I've produced a lot of champions with MMA and boxing from the community. It's a, it's a huge honor to be, to be here in your gym, and I'm, I'm very thankful for you having me uh, as one of your own. Thank you. I'm the one that feels so much honor. You've come a, a long way away and you're from a, a better circumstance than here. I'm so honored that you've come all the way up here into my community to enjoy it. That was seriously amazing. I have such a new respect for boxers. Not that I didn't already before, but watching your footwork and the way you move was just incredible. How, how was it for you? Yeah, it was, it was different. Um, these guys, these guys move a little bit differently. I see a lot of it in the um, Olympic-style boxing at World Champs, for example. Um, they all, they all have have quite a quite a planted stance. But um, and so I was getting told off for doing stuff that my coach tells me to do, and I was like, <laughs> "That's a little bit funny." I was, I was looking, and, and as they were giving advice, I was like, "Ooh, you know, they're, they're pretty confident giving handing out advice to David." But seriously, for me, it was an eye-opener, and and I have this respect, I think, for all athletes and coming along to watch you train is just, it's blown my mind. It's made me really want to get into boxing when I finish rowing, actually. It's super cool. Oh, go on, go on. <laughs> you know what? I thought David was soft, and then we come to the gym, and he's just shown me up. Get out. 
It was so good. So good. After some fancy footwork at the Nobre Arts Gymnasium, it was time for David and Emma to experience some fancy footwork famous in Brazil, Samba. All right, so we're here in Lapa, Rio de Janeiro, and um, this place is going off, it's incredible. Yeah, the vibe is something else. It's kind of like the Ponsonby of Auckland, but in Rio. And I think this is gonna be the place to come for the Olympics. It's a really cool vibe. Lots of people everywhere enjoying themselves. And I can hear these sounds, you know, like sounds of samba. What do you reckon, David? Well, it might be about time we gave a samba a shot. What do you reckon? Let's do it. So I'm here with Melinda, who's a Brazilian local and knows a hell of a lot about the samba. Tell me a little bit why the samba is so ingrained in the Brazilian culture. Well, that's really in our blood. We like to dance, to share the energy. So I think it's much more natural than rational. Right, so you think we're going to see a little bit of the samba at the opening ceremony in Rio? I don't think. I'm sure a lot in the opening ceremony. Awesome. So if that's the case, I think David and I need to know a few moves. Okay. It's up to you to teach us okay. how we do this. Are you ready? I'm ready. So slowly first, and then you're going to have all the moves. Okay. So first, do your hip, the right and the right foot, okay? Yeah. Go behind and do the other like this. And then another, and do that. So everything is following, it's supernatural. It's just, okay. it's almost an eight eye or something like this. So, like okay? A, like a figure eight. Exactly, Got you it. have it. So, Got it. and then speed a little bit. And speed. Got it, David? And speed. Just like we're in and the boxing speed. ring. And speed. And speed. <laughs> and, you know, enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy and be it. happy. <laughs> and then speed. 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 So David, you got it? I got it, you got it? I got it. Let's go. Let's do it. Those Brazilians know how to party, eh? That dance club was insane, like three stories. That was epic. Such a great night. Packed. Yeah. Man. They really know how to move those Brazilians. Shout out to Melinda for the moves. Woo! We're smoking it. We killed it. Boom. Huh? Let's go. Epic. <laughs> <laughs>